Okay, so John's in front of our homemade green screen right here, and this is one way you can do a green screen video and uh, use your chroma key in Magic's Movie Edit Pro. Okay, here we are in Magic's Movie Edit Pro 2014 Plus, which is the latest version of uh, Magic's Movie Edit Pro, and I'm going to show you where the chroma key is located. So you go up here to the effects tab right here and click on that. And then go to video effects which is right here and scroll down to chroma key and click chroma key. And this is the chroma key panel right here. And you have to have an object selected. If the object is not selected you'll just see a black screen or a, a blank panel. So the object has to be selected like that. Okay, so in order to get the video in the first place, you have to have a green screen. So uh, let's look at what we're using. So where did we get this screen, John? Well, we got the green screen material. It's just tablecloth from Party Central. And uh, it's kind of glossy, so if you want to go more professional without having much glare, you might want to choose a um, flat green paint of of the exact color printed off from the computer. We're going to be doing a green screen so we need a screen that's a certain color green and the closer we can get to that the better. So to find out what color that is you can bring up Windows Paint and then go to Edit Colors. Now if you're on a Mac you might use a different program and the Macintosh might have something else. Apple, you know. Now you just pick uh, a green color but what you really want is one that's a primary green. So to get that, what you need is red to be zero, green to be 255 right here, and blue to be zero. So I'm just going to punch in zero here. So that's our color. And you could print out a swatch of that and take it down to your local paint store and have them color match that and uh, mix you a bucket of paint. Or you could just take the swatch around to your uh, different stores and see if you can find that green tablecloth that matches that color. So now we're going to take a short video and what I was thinking for the demonstration purposes and for demonstration uh, purposes well, I'll make it turn to a background when I snap my fingers. <laughs> Alright go ahead I'm, and uh, wait, wait a minute let me zoom in a little bit can you move over just a little bit no the other way yeah there we go let me get just right here all right, go ahead. Three, two, one. All right, we'll try using that. Okay, now that we've got our video recorded, we can uh, take it off our camera and put it on our computer hard drive. And here it is on my computer hard drive, and what I'm going to do is drag that file over onto the timeline in Magics. Okay, then I find the part where John snaps his fingers. I'm just dragging the marker along here. And it's right in this area. So I'm just going to cut that part with my little razor blade tool here. And I'll delete the section I don't want. Alright, bring this down to the beginning. Right here. Rewind. That's the rewind button. And I'm going to go over here and zoom to full length of the video. Alright, there it is. And you can see the audio down here. If you don't have your audio, you can always right click the object, go to audio functions, and then create audio waveform. But we've already got our audio waveform there, so we're good to go. Now let's just play it and hear what it sounds like. Alright, go ahead. Three, two, one. Alright, so right. Alright, go ahead. Three, two, one. Alright, right there is where we have the click. As you can see. So when he does that click, we want to use our green screen. So we'll put the marker right in front of this little click and then cut it. Now we'll leave we're gonna leave the other one the way it is. Okay, let's just go ahead and green screen this section. So the way we do that again is we're on the effects tab under video effects on chroma key and then we just click on this green button here 
and then there's two sliders and we can move these sliders until the background basically changes to black so I'm just going to move them both over like that so that the background goes to black now if you see any aberrations around the video like on the edges you can use another effect and that's under movement effects and it's called uh, size and position no actually let's yeah we can use size and position or camera zoom I think I'll use camera zoom so I'm on camera zoom and then I'll just crop this down and move it maybe a little more we want to get away from any of the defects at the edges there kinda of like that now when we play it it looks like this Now we probably want to apply that same effect to the other section too so that it looks the same just do that. I think we can copy the effects here. Video effects. Copy video effects. Take the green box off because we don't want that on the other one. Okay, continue. Now we'll go to this object and go to video effects and paste video effects okay now let's look at them both together all right go ahead three two one all right, all right we'll try. now we got that effect now next thing we want to do is add a background to this section over here so to add a background let's go over here and make sure this object is selected right here this is the one we want to add the background to and what we're going to do is go down and underneath design elements right here we're going to open that up go to backgrounds and then pick a background that works well with yours green I like this one right here blue pattern just bring that down and then drop it right on top of the video object like that and do apply and there it goes. Now let's look and see how it works. All right, go ahead. Three, two, one. All right, we'll try using that. Here's some of the material right here that we use for the green screen that we got from Party Central. And it's just a plastic tablecloth like you use at a picnic. Not only can you do green screen, you can also do blue screen. Now let's turn off the effect so you can see it. So as you can see, we have blue on one side and green on the other. So that time we did a green screen and then a blue screen. And you still use chroma key, except to do the blue screen, you use the blue button to apply the chroma key effect instead of the green button. You can also have a black screen or a white screen and then there's water which is a, a different effect and then there's alpha but you can just practice with all of them and they work really good and thanks for watching leave us any comments you want to under the video and uh, subscribe and we'll see you on the tube